Hello everyone. Today we will talk about a very important subject. The Ponzi scheme, also known as a pyramid scheme, is a fraudulent practice that involves promising high financial returns to investors. This type of scheme is illegal and is used to deceive people who are looking to get rich quickly. The history of the Ponzi scheme began with Charles Ponzi, an Italian immigrant who moved to the United States in 1903. Ponzi started his finance career working as a door-to-door -door salesman, but he always dreamed of becoming rich. In 1919, Ponzi came up with a plan to make a lot of money in a short amount of time. He would buy cheap foreign postal stamps and sell them in the United States for a higher price. Ponzi believed he could profit from the price difference and promised investors a 50% return in just 90 days. Ponzi managed to attract many investors with his promise of high returns. He used the money from new investors to pay the old ones, creating the appearance of a profitable business. However, Ponzi never bought foreign postal stamps. Instead, he used the investors' money to pay for his own personal expenses and maintain his extravagant lifestyle. Over time, Ponzi's fraud was discovered and he was arrested in 1920. In total, he defrauded about 40,000 investors, raising about $15 million which today would be equivalent to more than $180 million. The name Ponzi scheme became synonymous with financial fraud and is still used today to describe this type of practice. After the Ponzi scheme, many other pyramid schemes emerged. In 1925, the Yale scheme was created by Leo Koretz. He claimed he would invest investors' money in commodities such as copper and rubber. In reality, he used investors' money to buy land in Mexico and Florida. When the fraud was discovered, Koretz had disappeared with about $30 million. Another example of a pyramid scheme is the case of the American telemarketing company ACN, which was sued in 2010 by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. ACN promised that investors could make money by selling telecommunications services, but in reality, the company made money by selling training packages to its representatives. ACN paid a $138 million fine and agreed to reimburse investors about $1.5 million. Pyramid schemes continue to be a threat to investors worldwide. Many of these schemes are disguised as legitimate investments but are designed to benefit only the scheme organizers at the expense of investors. The promise of high returns in a short time can be very tempting, especially for people who are struggling financially or looking for a quick way to get rich. However, it is important for investors to be aware of warning signs that indicate a pyramid scheme. Some warning signs include guaranteed or excessively high returns, aggressive recruitment of new investors, lack of clear information about the origin of invested money, lack of transparency in the company's business, lack of registration of the company in regulatory bodies. If an investment seems too good to be true, it probably is. It is important to always research the company before investing money. Checking if the company is registered with regulatory bodies and researching information about the company's reputation on the Internet are ways to protect against fraud. In Brazil, the most well-known pyramid scheme was the Telex Free case, which promised gains of up to 250% on invested money. The company was investigated by the federal police and the public prosecutor's office in 2013 and was closed in 2014. The organizers of the scheme were sentenced to prison and fines. The Ponzi scheme and other pyramid financial schemes are a threat to people's financial stability and can have devastating consequences for those who invest their money.
It is important that investors are cautious and always seek reliable information before investing their money. In addition, it is important that regulatory authorities are vigilant to prevent the spread of these fraudulent schemes and hold the organizers accountable. Did you enjoy learning about the Ponzi scheme and other pyramid financial schemes? Then don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so that they too can stay informed and protected against financial fraud. Subscribe to our channel and activate notifications to receive new videos every week. Thank you for watching. See you next time.